welcome back and uh, hopefully this will stay in focus but I uh, wanted to go over um, quickly how to uh, make a quick sign from text that will work on like a laser or whatever cutter you have that uh, you want to have some text done from or little signs or whatever and this is a plugin in Inkscape and uh, all I did was load in some text made a few little bridging objects and joint them to the individual letters. Now the trick to get this done is you have to uh, break the group. Apparently in Inkscape text is a group so you have to select your text line and break the group up and then you can uh, attach the bridges to each letter and then you can attach each new letter object to the uh, the main frame and all you do is hit control plus for that and then on the bottom I made a shape and then actually I believe it was control minus that I pressed to do that and then uh, using the uh, um, path to g-code uh, plugin I exported it to a simple g-code and uh, loaded up in the uh, universal chrome g-code sender or actually sorry it's the g-code sender for chrome it's a nice clean um, g-code sender it doesn't recognize uh, all the commands but it's uh, gbrl compatible but as you can see here this is the uh, the paths um, the plugin for Inkscape did a pretty good job at optimizing the paths really it's uh, a box with what would normally be a concentric box but we've broken up that uh, outline to contain the uh, individual letters using the little bridges so I'm going to uh, send that there to the laser plotter if you can see that and it stays in focus um, I've got a piece of black Depron or black meat tray foam ready to uh, get that burnt on and I'm just going to send that file here in a second start streaming that to the machine so that's started there and it's going to burn or laser into the foam the outside of that box. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a camera mount that's ready for this uh, this camera or phone at the moment. But uh, it's just going to go around and do the outside. So what I'm going to do is uh, pause this here. When it's got a little bit more done, we'll uh, catch up with this. watching it uh, start part way into the the next box which is also the outline of the text and normally I don't film it high enough for you to actually see the laser module but I thought I would as it starts into here into some of the first shapes let's see if I can get down in here if it'll focus with that laser because sometimes it doesn't focus with that laser and it's making that exclamation point as you can see it's it's pretty quick. And with uh, the black foam like this, you kind of want to uh, be careful what your um, feed rate is. If you have a fixed uh, beam strength laser, meaning that you don't have PWM or something controlling the power output of the laser, the only way you can control how much laser energy is, uh, for lack of a better term, deposited into the surface is the speed or how long it lingers over one spot, so the speed or feed rate. And if you have a lower power laser, so you're going a little bit slower to cut your foam, the problem is in some foams, being great insulators, the heat tends to linger and it causes a bit of a warping or a bending. And in some cases, it may even melt some of your fine details because there's such a heat buildup in a small space. So really, you want to try and get a fairly powerful laser that has a pretty fine point or focus to the, the beam width you need and go at a pretty quick, pretty quick pace. So I'm not too sure if this is going to turn out uh, as well as I'm expecting. It does have a few narrow cuts in these letters and what they might do is they might melt in on each other or possibly 
melt the foam around them, or the little bridges at the bottom of the text might not be substantial enough. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and pause this now and uh, catch back up to it when it's got a little bit more done. See if I can get this to stay in focus here for us. It's uh, finishing off the the first letter in the word, but uh, it's getting to the tail end of this cut sequence, or, or this, uh, I guess it would be a unbroken line. If you were to do an etch-a-sketch outline, you could probably trace that. Um, so it's just finishing off that first S. As you can see already, some of the narrow cuts um, where the spacing is quite narrow, there's a little bit of warping in the foam. Foam, sorry. Uh, once it finishes this, it's going to go back up and connect to the top outline on that uh, left side there. And then uh, it's going to go back and try and, uh, I believe, cut out all the centers of the letters that weren't in the single line. a few gaps in the bridges too, I forgot about that. As you can see the rapid movement's pretty good. And again that right there is an example of where if that um, part in the middle was needed you'd have to make make the cut fairly big. Now this one should be pretty quick. Um, it's going to be a long sweeping line here. Let's see if I can keep it in focus. an oddity in the fall. Hmm. That little uh, bug there was a weird oddity in that. Hopefully it didn't warp the phone ins foam inside too much from doubling back on itself so many times. But there must have been some control data from the, uh, I think it was a Bazir curve on that. It's going to go over and finish off the bar. And, uh, button up a few. I think there's only a couple more cuts on there. Maybe three. Three small ones, I think. The B and the E. I think I have three little pieces to be cut out of them. Let's see if I can get close in on that. when you're working with uh, powerful lasers. You should make sure that you have the safety gear that you require. Glasses, goggles, or whatever. And uh, be aware of how your machine works, especially if it's home built. And uh, I'm going to pause this now and uh, take that foam apart so we can see the sign. Hopefully that's in focus there. I think so. But as you can see, uh, being Depron, meat tray foam is usually Depron, 
It holds its shape very well. And the little bridges seem to have worked for holding the letters. And uh, as you can see, if I can get that wire out of the way, um, whether you backlit them or I'm lighting them from just a bit above, as you can see, you can make some pretty nice little signs this way. It's a good use for a little laser laser plotter. And uh, depending on your lighting options, oops, depending on your lighting options, um, you can put that with a backlight and a diffuser. I'm just got the little LEDs above, and uh, if I can hold this here with one hand again, you can see this is the part that got cut out. Some pretty precise cuts, even though. The foam would have shrunk a little bit too far in some of those really thin cuts. That's just the nature of this foam. And even, I think I had the cut speed still a little bit too slow. I probably could have gone twice as quick. But uh, as the sign says, if you like these videos and this kind of stuff, uh, please subscribe or comment or like. And uh, again, as always, thanks for watching.